Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shaylin and in today's video, I'm bringing you babes a Topshop denim haul. Now in this video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know are Topshop jeans worth your coins? Now I think personally, I can give you guys the inside scoop because I have been buying Topshop jeans literally since I was in high school and I have some thoughts. Actually, I wasn't buying them, my grandma was buying them, but shout out to you grandma, okay, you kept your girl fly, okay. Before we go ahead and jump straight into this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay babes, so let's go ahead and get into the jeans that I recently picked up. So the first pair of jeans that I picked up are these premium mom jeans. I picked these up in a waist 28 and a length 30. Now, I've absolutely been loving these jeans. I've been seeing them all over Instagram. Your favorite fashion blogger definitely has worn these and I just had to see what the hype was all about. And girl, I believe the hype, okay? Because these are bomb. Okay, I'm definitely keeping these jeans and I actually wanna pick them up in the black color as well. I just love the way these mom jeans fit. I would pay full price for these jeans and these jeans are $85, but I did not pay that. I got them on sale, but I absolutely love these and think they are worth every single penny. The fit, you just cannot beat. The color is just perfect. You can style so many different ways. So I'm so happy with these, you guys. Like you guys are gonna be seeing these in a lot of styling videos, so be prepared. The next pair of jeans that I got are also a pair of mom jeans. And so these are just a classic pair of mom jeans and I picked them up in a waist 28 and a length 28 as well. Now these jeans were $90. I'm surprised they were actually more expensive than the last pair of jeans. But I am going to be honest with you guys, I do not like the way these fit. They almost don't fit. I have to suck in for dear life to get these to fit. Now I could go up a size, but me personally from my experience with Topshop jeans, a 30 just does not fit me properly. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't fit me. So if the 28 doesn't work, then I just know that I cannot get those jeans and they just don't work for my particular body type. I was really disappointed because I really do want a black pair of mom jeans. Unfortunately, sis, these ain't the ones. My next pair of jeans are another pair of mom jeans. Again, I picked these up in a waist 28 and a length 28 as well. So I did want to let you guys know that when you pick up a length 28, that is for petite girls. So if if you are 5'3 and below, length 28 is going to be the cream of the crop for you, okay sis? I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. I don't know if they give me that wow, I need you in my closet factor. And these jeans were $75. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think I should keep these or not. So now I wanna go ahead and get into some of the jeans that I have from Topshop that were already in my collection. So my goal is to share with you guys like my thoughts on these jeans because some of these jeans I've had for years, like literally, since like 2008, 2010. So I definitely wanna share with you guys my experience just in case you were interested in picking up this style of jean from Topshop. So the first style we have is the Joni jean. Now I'm gonna be straight up and let y'all know, I don't like these, okay? Period, don't buy them. Well, I don't wanna say don't buy them, but me personally, they do not fit my style anymore. Now girl, back in my like freshman year of college, okay, I was wearing these bad boys every single day, okay? like. These were my go-tos for the parties, okay? Like, the, I'm sure I had some old IG pics in these, okay? Because these were your typical Fashion Nova IG baddie jeans, okay? They're the type of jeans that fit super tight, you know, make your waist look small, make your butt look big type of jean. But these just aren't my style anymore, you guys. They're super high-waisted. I just personally don't think these are one of those jeans that'll last you a long time either. Yes, I still have them in my wardrobe, but I can definitely feel the wear and tear that these have experienced. I'm someone who has thicker thighs and my thighs rub together, and I noticed that the material on the inner part of the thigh is super duper worn down. Now granted, I have had these for years, so I do feel as though I've gotten my money out of them, but do I feel like they're the type of jean that are gonna be in your wardrobe for a very long time? Do I feel like they're a classic pair of jeans? No, and so therefore I recommend saving your coins, sis. So the next style of jean that I wanna talk about is the Jamie jean, and clearly y'all can tell these are my favorite style of Topshop jeans, besides the premium mom jeans, okay, cause those, 
have found their way into my heart, okay? Then might be the jeans of 2020. I actually might do a Zara denim haul too. If you guys want to see me try on different types of Zara denim and let you guys know my opinions on them, leave me a comment down below. Y'all know I can't do a video without talking about Zara. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the Jamie jeans. That these jeans last you literally a lifetime. I think they are absolutely the perfect investment jean, especially if you prefer a more slimmer fitted jean. These are the jeans that I would 100% recommend. I'm gonna quickly show you guys all the different styles and colors that I have in my collection. And of course, I'm gonna try them on for you guys now. Because a lot of these are older, I may not be able to find them on the website, but if I cannot, I will try to link similar options down below. So the first pair up are these dark blue wash. Now they do have one rip on the knee, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I probably will get rid of these, I just don't love this wash of denim anymore. I wore them in high school, they were cute then, they're not cute to me now, but I just kept them in my collection because I'm like, these are a good pair of denim, and who keeps calling the house? Can you mute a house phone? Okay, I'm back, all right, so. My next pair, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, are pretty much the same style of wash, but I like these better because they have this ripped hem on the bottom. Now, again, these ones have no distressing on them, which I actually like a little bit better as well. So I'm gonna be keeping these. Now, I have gotten a ton of wear out of these as well, but again, this is just not my favorite color wash of denim, so I usually opt for something else. But of course, it's nice to have different shades of denim in your wardrobe because as we all know different shades go with different outfits. My next pair are probably like the worst out of my collection and I say they're the worst because these did not wash well at all. Now I don't know if it's something that I did or if it's the jeans, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but these were not like that. They have like all this splattering, hello broken nail, um, quarantine. Like, I just don't love these jeans. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't love them. And for some reason, the quality of these just don't feel as good as the other Jamie jeans. So one thing that concerns me about Jamie jeans, because I have so many different pairs of them, although they are the same style, I've noticed that sometimes the quality in the material just don't feel the same. Now I do have jeans from years ago and I do have jeans that are newer. So it's possible that just they've changed the way they manufacture them and make them over time. That is something that I want you guys to be aware of that not not all of the Jamie jeans are gonna fit the same, feel the same, and wear the same. Next pair of jeans are definitely a very worn pair. They are just a true skinny jean, which is nice to have in your collection, especially for wearing like to work on like business casual days. The next pair of Jamie jeans, girl, these are probably my most worn pair. Girl, when I tell you I wore the hell out of these jeans, like these jeans, girl, I got my coins, my cents, my tax, worth out of these jeans, okay? These jeans I wore so much. I love the color of these. The wash is just amazing. The distressing is just fire. Like, I could not ask for a better pair of denim. These are my favorite Topshop Jamie jeans. Hands down, no questions asked. I am never getting rid of these. I will try to find you guys a dupe for these or hopefully they make a very similar pair because y'all need these, okay? I love these. These are my favorite and they make your booty look good too, so that's important. So my next pair are a classic black pair of jeans. Now these ones feature no distressing and they do have a frayed hem at the bottom which is honestly what sold me on these jeans. I really just loved the frayed hem. I think the frayed hem is so cute on jeans. Like, give me a pair of jeans with a frayed hem and I'm buying them. My next pair of jeans are in this gray color. Now I love these jeans, I love the wash, but I don't get a ton of wear out of these if I'm going to be honest. I just feel like these are a type of jean that, you know, you just don't get a ton of wear out of. At least me personally with my wardrobe, I just don't get a ton of wear out of this wash. But I still love these and they do come in handy when I'm styling certain outfits. So my last pair of Topshop jeans, I forgot what this style is called. I want to say it's called the Lay jeans. I actually got these for a crazy sale. I think I only paid like 30 bucks for them. But these are so cute. I love the distressing. I love the wash of these. So I really, really like these. Would I pick up more jeans in this style? Probably not, just because my personal style just doesn't fit that. But nonetheless, these are a good pair of jeans. Now they are a little bit on the thinner side. They're not as thick denim as the Jamie jeans or the mom jeans. So that's something to keep in mind if you were thinking about picking these up. 
Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know where your favorite pair of jeans are from. And also let me know if you guys would be interested in a Zara denim haul, okay? Y'all know I love Zara. Do y'all wanna see it? Let me know in the comment section below. Also be sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss an upload. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.